What's going on everybody? Mr. Influenced here, back at it again with another video. We have some exciting things going on and not only did we just see a possible bottom for Bitcoin, a uh, very nice bounce that we got there. Let's just hope it holds. If this candlestick stays green, could be looking pretty good. Um, but it's it's a very like it's it's crazy right now there's so much going on at once um i believe tomorrow there's going to be some type of meeting with the government or whatever um and they're going to be letting people know pretty much uh pretty much letting people know about regulation in the united states um for cryptocurrencies but what I wanted to talk about today is the stock market. The stock market is taking a very big dip. The craziest we've seen in a very long time. Um, I believe right now the Dow J is down 5.8%. Look at this. Let me see. Let me make sure you guys are going to see this. Look at this. Oh. Can you see it? Can you see it? There we go. Look at that. Look at all that red. Now they're experiencing the red. I just want to see if it'll focus. It's not focusing. I got to figure out how to put my like iPhone on the screen. But look at this. This is down more than 700 points. Um let's hope it let's let's hope it keeps crashing. If it keeps crashing then this is exactly what we needed. Um and let's hope that money comes into crypto. Crypto is is one of those things that has nothing to do with the stock market. So all we're waiting for right now is pretty much to see what the U.S. has to say about crypto. And um, let me see. CCN. I believe an article came out. Uh, let's see. Let's see that New York. New York State Crypto. Uh, small New York town getting an investment from Bitcoin cloud. Oh, proposes study of state-backed cryptocurrency. This is what I was looking for. Um, a New York lawmaker has previously filed several bills related to blockchain, ha has submitted new legislation that calls for studying the creation of a state-backed cryptocurrency. The measure dated February 2nd calls for the creation of a task force dedicated to studying the impact of a state-issued cryptocurrency on the state of New York. Among the main areas of inquiry, inquiry would be the regulatory implications of the undertaking, pointing to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity, Commodity Futures Trading Commission in particular. The task force, if approved, would also study the implications of issuing such cryptocurrency on monetary policy and financial stability and how local, state, and federal taxation would be affected by such. The bill was submitted by lawmaker Clyde Vanille, who in late November submitted four bills related to cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Among those, as reported at the time, was one measure that called for state elections officials to investigate uses of the technology for the purpose of state and local ballots. Public records indicate the New York's legislation legislature is also poised to discuss the topic of cryptocurrencies as well as the state's bit license regulatory framework at a hearing later this month um i personally don't think something like this would work out for them but the fact that they're trying could look good on the whole regulatory side on bitcoin and cryptocurrencies if the u.s turns out to be positive like against cryptocurrencies like if, if if all there is gonna be is like regulation and it's not too harsh on us, then we could be looking very good. And I believe that when is it? Tomorrow they I believe tomorrow they have a whole meeting about this um, whole cryptocurrency thing and everything. See see what they should do in order to regulate this stuff. Yeah. So the market the US market is going to be closing again again in the negatives very good sign for us if tomorrow's if if any news comes out tomorrow and it's positive for the u.s and cryptocurrency then we could see a lot of this money flowing in 
we wanted Wall Street, we might get it. Uh, is all I'm all I'm saying, because I don't know. This is the one thing we're looking. We're looking good. This is the one thing that could really bring us right back up to all time highs. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm gonna be keeping a lookout on the Nasdaq, and I have. Well, I just realized it now. When I checked it, it was down like six percent. But now that the market's closing, I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to get back in, um, get back in so it doesn't close too, too low. But it's down quite a lot. Dow falls 1,500 points, so it was at 700. It felt one, 6.2 percent. Exactly what I was saying. Um, could be that year for the stock market crash. Let's. If that happens, we could be looking very good on the cryptocurrency side. Now, is that the bottom? I don't know. Right now, I my positions are in Bitcoin. I'm not holding. I'm not even holding Electronium right now. I'm holding Bitcoin, uh, just to support the whole market. Like, if all of us are holding Bitcoin, usually Bitcoin goes up first either way, and then all the other market, like all the other alts, follow up. So if we keep Bitcoin strong while the stock market's crashing, could be a beautiful sign for us. Let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, if you guys know details about this whole conference tomorrow, please let me know where I could look more into it. As I'm only like, I'm trading and doing research. So I'm just like, I know these videos aren't like very, very informed and I'm not like finding ex exact things, but that's because... I'm trading while at it. I'm trying to gain. I'm, I'm, I need stronger hands. You know what I mean? We all. And I just picked up at the very bottom. I saw this happening right before the big. Sp I believe I got in at 66.20. I shorted all the way from like seven. So again, I saved some losses and I got more coins. Um, not, not, not necessarily a short. I know that. But if you look at it, it's still me selling higher, buying more coins lower. Technically, that's still a short. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification button to see more cryptocurrency-related videos. Two to three a day lately. And that's what we're going for. We're going hard with this crypto stuff. We're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. This market is not leaving. This market might just disappear for a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks like closes in 40 minutes. I really hope it closes 6% down. So all these Wall Street guys that were calling our market a bubble and all the media coming at us, bringing our market down. Let's show, let's, let's show the people which market is really the flawed one and the crooked one and all this stuff, because we all know banks are the biggest Ponzi scheme in the world. Now, remember, I'm not your financial advisor or anything like that. This is all just my opinion. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Peace out.